everybody from YouTube. I just got back from Mott's Run Reservoir down in Fredericksburg, Virginia. It's about a hundred acre reservoir. That's about five miles outside of the city of Fredericksburg. And it's actually right next to the Rappahannock River. And uh, I'll tell you, it's a beautiful place to fish. Uh, they've got bass, catfish, walleye, um, white perch and i think the state record northern pike actually comes out of that reservoir uh at 30 30 plus pounds but um anyways had uh, had a pretty good day there you know it's uh it's quite deep uh at its most it's 60 feet deep and most places have got a lot of drop-offs a lot of steep drop-offs uh which makes it a little bit different than your traditional uh, bass fishing lake that has shallows uh, that you would fish with a lot of structure. So, uh, you know, pretty typical pattern for, for bass. You know, I, you know, caught a bass that was about five feet of water that was close to, drops off quickly to almost 20 feet of water in a, in a deep uh, cove. And uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, they were actually hitting on minnows, surprisingly. They didn't want the chatter bait. This time they wanted the live minnows. So, so that was pretty cool. Um, it was blazing hot that day and I decided to get lazy and I decided to troll. That looks like a great lake to troll in anyways. And uh, I actually caught about five or six really nice sized white perch uh, trolling with, uh, I caught most of them on what's called a hellbender lure. Uh, and this is a, a picture of what it looks like. And it's it's a uh, designed to look like a crawfish, but it's really great for trolling. Bass for some reason love this thing, especially striped bass and hybrid bass. But uh, caught him on that. Uh, on my other rig, I had a Lindy rig uh, equipped with a live minnow, and I missed quite a bunch on that. They, they weren't taking the whole minnow. They were taking like half of it or the tail end. And uh, next time I go, I think what I'm going to do is uh, probably put a trailer hook on it. Uh, also, what I would do, you know, the water there is really super clear. And probably what I would do, I'm going to go back there in the fall, and uh, what I would recommend fishing with is a drop shot lure. Uh, usually when water is that clear, bass can get a little bit finicky and uh, they need a little bit softer presentation and I probably would go with a drop shot lure and fish around a lot of that submerged structure. So there's a lot of submerged structure there. There's humps and bumps and holes and all kinds of stuff underneath the water there. So definitely when you go out there, uh, make sure you have your, your depth finder with you and I'm sure you'll be successful. So anyways, let's get to the action.
Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, that was quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice bass. Oh, that's a real nice bass. Oh, that's a beauty. Come on. Oh, jeez, come on, big boy. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Thank you, Don. Oh boy, come on now. Don't be doing like that. Don't be getting all rambunctious now. Alright, well. Once again, they like the minnows. Oh, that's a nice bass. That's a nice bass. Pretty fish. Um, oh yeah, he's probably like 17 inches. That's a beauty. There you go, buddy. Okay, everybody, uh, caught about five or six more uh, white perch on this Hellbender lure trolling. Uh, that was a boatload of fun. Uh, like I said, it was great trolling because uh, the heat was so <laughs> high that day. Uh, anyways, I'll leave you some uh, pictures here from Matswan Reservoir. It is a fantastic reservoir for kayak fishing. So if you get a chance, uh, you got to go down there and check it out. So uh, anyways, uh, thanks again for watching. And if you like the video, please subscribe.